Hello, it's Sam from Bevolution, episode 9, beer review, Boss Brewing Company's double IPA, looking forward to this one, because uh, it's the first double IPA I've reviewed, it's not the kind of beer that I usually go for, but I'm trying to uh, expand my beer horizons a little bit, so I thought it'd be rude not to give it a try. Boss Brewing, Swansea based microbrewery. They've only, they only set up three years ago, so it's impressive what they've achieved already. This is available in the supermarkets, that's where I picked it up. So considering they only started brewing professionally three years ago, it's quite an achievement. And uh, according to what I've found online, it was a couple who started up the brewery, they run the, uh, the directors of the company, and they only started brewing at home a year before they started the, uh, the actual brewery on a larger scale, so they've only been doing it for four years, which is incredible really. But they've obviously enjoyed quite a bit of success. They've got quite a few different beers out there, different types. Uh, this was the one that I picked, just because it was double IPA really, I hadn't tried one yet on this channel, so I thought, let's give it a go. So, here we go. I washed my glass today as well before I started filming, because I thought, Looked a bit scummy yesterday with a dirty glass. Okay, don't be fooled by the hops that I've got. So double IPAs, typically stronger in terms of alcohol. This one's 7.4%, so it ticks that box. Usually hoppier as well, more of a hoppy kick to it. Stronger hobby flavour, a little bit darker. And this one again ticks that box, it is a little bit darker. Then you lighter session IPAs or just normal IPAs. So let's give it a go. Hmm, interesting one. Not quite sure what to make of that. It's not as hoppy as I was expecting. Flavour's not as strong as I was expecting. Yeah, in terms of flavour, doesn't give much away on the can as to what it's getting, what it's getting at. For a double IPA, 7.4% beer, it is very drinkable. Doesn't taste like 7.4% beer. With that being said, I think it is lacking a little bit of a kick. It's difficult to call this one. You'll never know if it goes in the glass or not. Oh, look at that. Textbook. Didn't spill a drop. See, so professional beer drinkers, they don't pour pints like that. They don't pour beer like that, do they? It's a different style. I'm trying to push the boundaries a little bit on this channel. I don't play by the rules. Uh, rating wise, difficult one. This is probably the most difficult one I've judged so far in terms of giving it a rating. I don't drink I double IPAs regularly, so I've not got as much to compare it to in terms of like previous beers that I've had. It's drinkable, but I think it's just lacking a little bit in flavour. It's not quite as strong, not quite as hoppy as I was hoping for. So on that basis, 6 out of 10. But good work. Boss Brewery, you're doing a hell of a job. <laughs> you don't need me to tell you that. Three years in, smashing the game already. So keep up the good work.